CATL introduces revolutionary for C fast charging LFP battery, potential game changer for Tesla's lineup. Greetings to our esteemed viewers as we reconvene in our digital realm. Your loyalty, steadfast subscription, and indomitable support for EV's Queen Warren our deepest gratitude. For those yet to grace our community, we extend a heartfelt invitation to become part of our thriving collective. With an assembly of a dozen video narratives daily, our commitment to you finds expression. As we proceed, your support remains our guiding light. Be sure to explore the diverse array of captivating content we offer. A seismic event unfolded as the curtain rose upon the world's premier EV battery manufacturer, CATL, unveiling an epical innovation, the pioneering 4C fast charging lithium iron phosphate, LFP, battery. Unlike far-fetched chemistry breakthroughs, this marvel is a synthesis of innovative materials, structural design, and a seamlessly integrated system. In a notable synergy with their association with Tesla, CATL presents an LFP battery, akin to the bedrock of Tesla's Model 3 and Model Y base iterations. Within the span of 10 minutes, this revolutionary power reservoir can imbue these vehicles with an astounding 400 kilometers, approximately 250 miles, of driving range, elevating the battery level from 20% to 80% while connected to a rapid charger. This revelation is monumental, as fast charging, until now, primarily catered to upscale EVs. However, with this breakthrough, the horizon broadens as a more affordable segment of electric cars is poised to embrace the transformative experience of swift recharging. The groundbreaking facet of this battery goes beyond mere rapidity, resonating in the context of frigid climates. CATL's new creation, the Xinxing battery, defies the chilling grasp of sub-zero temperatures. Even in the throes of icy conditions, these LFP cells can ascend to 80% charge within a mere half-hour span, unencumbered by any impediments. This milestone holds pivotal significance in the realm of LFP batteries. Elon Musk himself acknowledged this achievement by highlighting that, when contrasted with nickel-based batteries, LFPs exhibited drawbacks in cold weather conditions, manifesting in slower charging rates and greater range contraction. He underscored that while NCA and LFP batteries both display sensitivity to cold, the latter bore a more pronounced effect. Despite the prospect of a slightly extended supercharger stay in colder months with LFP batteries, this doesn't pose a concern for those who predominantly charge overnight at home. The journey into the realm of energy density ushers a revelation of the new LFP cells, endowed with a high-conductivity electrolyte. A single charge enables up to an astonishing 700 kilometers, 438 miles, of travel. However, a prudent estimation suggests that, considering the Chinese cycle tends to render generous range calculations, the US figures would likely settle around a 300-mile range for a Model 3 or Model Y graced with the Xinxing LFP pack. CATL's tenet of perfecting existing technologies rather than expending resources on lab prototypes culminates in a triumph of the Xinxing battery. This strategic decision stands validated when viewed in the context of NEO's pursuit of a high-range semi-solid state battery. CATL's expertise in nanocrystalline cathode material and second-generation fast ion rings imparts ultra-high conductivity to their 4C LFP battery, amplifying its prowess. Yet, amid the resonance of this paradigm shift, Tesla's role remains shrouded in enigma. The rollout of the Xinxing generation for the Tesla Model 3 and Model Y, which currently feature CATL's LFP batteries, remains a topic of speculation. CATL projects the mass production of these cells by year-end, with vehicles harboring 4C fast-charging LFP batteries. Poised for the market debut in early 2024, Despite Tesla's discernible silence, their reliance on Chinese batteries might have repercussions. The prospect of a diminished EV tax credit looms, as the allocation of Chinese batteries in their vehicles could warrant a partial forfeiture of this incentive. In conclusion, as we stand at the precipice of automotive evolution, your participation remains integral to the journey, 